here at 11 a.m. as we gather, we like to pause and thank God for the life of Miss Connie Sin. We put your hands together. Let us celebrate. Let us celebrate her life. We thank God for her life. As we come, our uh, order of service, we will, we will have prayer, then we'll have scripture reading. Uh, then we will have an outline, then we'll have remarks, solo, words of comfort, committal, benediction, uh, in that order. So we ask that those who are on the program, if you'll please uh, kind of make your way this way so we can kind of uh, go out and place all those on program if you're here. Uh, Sheriff Sanders, Elena Young, okay. Thank you very much. Let us pray together. Father God, is in the name of Jesus, we call to give you thanks. We thank you, Lord, for uh, another day. God, we thank you for another day, God, to be able to uh, have a closer walk with you. And God, it's another day, oh God, that we can be able to rejoice and be glad in it. It's another day, oh God, that we have opportunity that, we can, that you can forgive us of our sins that we have fallen short each and every day. But God, we also thank you, Lord, for this gathering. Thank you for the life of Miss Connie Simmons. God, we thank you, Lord, for what she stood for. We thank you, Lord, the lessons that she has taught us in our life. And God, we pray as we have uh, as we have observed her life, God, that we realize, oh God, that, that we have picked up a ingredient that made our life a little bit better. God, we thank you, Lord, for the for those, God, uh, uh, that she called family. God, we thank you for Newberry Disability Special Needs Board. God, we thank you, Lord, for the staff and her her her, her housemates, God, those, God, that she has uh, has crossed the path with. Thank you for the relationships that, that have been established, Lord. And I pray, oh, God, as we come today, that you bring us, that you give us comfort. God, as you said in your word, that you will wipe away the tears from our eyes. God, you say that we be made to do it for a night but joy will come in the morning. So God, as we come, God, to celebrate, and God, those who will participate today in these services, God, that we do it in such a way, oh God, to bring you glory. And God, I pray, God, I, that our coming will not be in vain. God, we realize that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So God, we pray, God, that these services as they go forth, even though we're grieving, even though God, we're seeking comfort and uh, refuge in you, God, we pray, Oh God, that your name will be praised in the midst that you will touch your heart. Oh God, to realize, oh God, that tomorrow is not promised. God, that we must get right today. And God, we thank you, Lord, for our opportunity, Lord, to realize that we can choose life over death. And God, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh oh. Our Old Testament scripture will be coming from Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, the first to the eighth verse, and I'll be reading from the English Standard Version. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and in time to gather those stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Our New Testament scripture will be coming from Philippians, the third chapter. And it says, But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body, by the power that enables him even to subject all things to himself. Take your rest, honey. We love you.
to no come was to love her. She was very gentle and soft-spoken, but with authority. She loved her caregivers and housemates. We were all family to her. She enjoyed one-on-one -on -one time with staff. She enjoyed one-on-one -on -one time with staff. She loved shopping. She loved going out to eat. She loves shopping, she loves going out to eat, and she loves taking naps throughout the day. That is where she gained her nickname, Sleeping Beauty. I would like to thank each of you for being an employee slash family for her. Whatever contact you made in Connie's life to assure that she was loved and cared for. Thank you. Even though our hearts are broken, Psalms 34, 18 tells us, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Rejoice in knowing that Connie is absent from the body, but she's present with the Lord. Cherish the memories of her life that was shared with us. Amen. Such kind words and every word was true, Michelle. And as a time when I worked with Connie, I can remember her. She was quick to tell you, I love you. And that just sticks in my mind with her. And so I'm gonna keep that memory with me that she loved you. And when she said she loved you, she meant it because she was a woman of few words. But when she said something, she meant it. So I believe today that she will want me to encourage each of you who are standing out here, who all have had a hand in help taking care of her, that better days are coming. Right now, the time seems very hard and we don't know which way to turn, but I want to encourage you today that better days are coming. Sometimes it feels cold and you feel all alone, but hold on, better days are coming. It can be rough in this world. And I Hang on in there. I know better days are coming. You've seen good, you've seen bad, you've been happy and sad. But just remember that better. What you're going through, yeah. 
but stay focused and and never lose sight. I know that people, all people, they can see the hurt that you feel inside, but keep. Cause everything will be alright. Better days. Come on, background. Better days. Better days. Better days are coming. I don't know about you, but I'm hanging on the better days. For my mother, for my brothers and my sisters. Oh, better days, better days are coming. I don't know, but I'm gonna stand on God. Hallelujah. Isn't that good news to know that better days are coming? As we come at this time, we like to share a word that, that uh, we always like to share from the perspective and observation of the life of those that we are celebrating. Uh, so we, through observation, we like to start out by first sharing uh, some information from Wenswood, as one of the staff shared with me. Connie loves to sit in her room and watch TV. She also loves cheese doodles for snack with a cold drink. She also likes to be called pretty lady. Connie had a beautiful smile and laugh. She didn't talk much, but she showed you affection by reaching her hand out to you. She would respond to you by saying, I like this. Her favorite pastime was eating. Connie loved for her hair, to, her hair to be washed and plaited. Connie stayed to herself and didn't bother anyone. But one thing she loved most was sleeping. As I look for confirmation in what to share today, as I read the response from Wimpswood, the staff, as they respond and as they share their love for Connie. And as I talked to Latrice and Martin, as she shared a common theme, went through that I, that I observed that I want to share today with you for a few minutes. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. It says, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. For a few minutes, I'd like to speak of the life of Miss Connie with this subject that we all can relate to since we are caregivers. It's this subject. Take a dose of your own medicine. Take a dose of your own medicine. Connie always amazed me when I first met her. Connie went from zero to 100 in her facial expression. When I first started, when I met Miss Connie, she, she kind of intimidated me at first because she can smile. But all of a sudden, she can put a 
great big facial smile on her face. And it's like her smile take over her whole face. And that's the common theme that I share, that we can always remember her smile. She had good days and she had not so good days. She had days where she wanted to give up and other days she had her best days. Like, like her time, like her time with her boyfriend, Butch, that time that she would smile the whole time at the, at the Christmas dance. Some days she was on top of the world and other days she felt like the world was on her shoulders. I'm quite sure she, she had days she felt like uh, taking her medicine and some days she really didn't want to take her medicine. I found that we all have those days. Can I get a witness? Amen. We all have good days and we all have bad days. It's no different for Connie. But Connie, life spoke to me and I want to speak to you. I pray that you recognize this common theme that's in Connie's life. Regardless of what she was going through, she always would try to put a smile on her face. She went from the screen. I knew that she had some bad days. But if, if it's something, it had to be something on the east side to make her smile like that. And that's what I want to share with you today, is that we're going to always have trials and tribulations in this world. We're going to always have some days that we want to give up. But the text tells us today that a smile is a sign of taking our own medicine because it comes from the inside. It's not generated from the outside. The Bible says it's the joy of the Lord that gives me strength. And because of that, Miss Carly had something on the inside. Well, when you see that, I know that I know scripture and I know those things, but when I looked up a smile, there's a natural, uh, something naturally happening in the body when you smile. Study has shown that smiles release endorphins, natural painkillers, and serotonin. Together, these three neurotransmitters, they make you feel good from the east side. Yes, so what Connie was not, she, she was having a bad day, I'm quite sure, like we all had. Mm. But all of a sudden, a smile came over her face. Mm. And if you're going to take a dose of your own medicine, <laughs> sometimes you just got to smile, yeah. regardless of what you're going through. Yeah. Because the script, mm. because the scientist says, the scientist says that when you put a smile on your face, something happened on the east yeah, side. Yeah. It created a natural painkiller. Did anybody here yeah. use a natural painkiller every now and then? You know, I thought about that thing. And you know, some days I'm easy to get along with and some days I'm not. That's what my wife says anyway. I've been married for 30 years, so I must do a good thing. So. But what I'm saying is, is that we got to stop taking ourselves so seriously. My little 10 year old gave me a, gave me a troll. And if you come in my office, I got to sit beside my computer. And people ask me like, what is this grown man got a troll beside his, this computer? But my, my, my 10 year old tell me, Godfather, when you're having a bad day, just take a look at the troll. They know that the troll is taking care of you. And what it tells me is, Moses, you're not all of that. Sometimes you got to stop taking yourself so serious. Did I get a witness? Sometimes we take ourselves just a little too serious. Also, a smile lowers your blood pressure. That's what the scientist says. Do I have any nurses in the house? It also says that you put a smile on your face, it overall boosts your health. The act of smiling actually helps the human immune system function effectively. So you know what? I learned from Connie that on my worst days, if I could just crack a smile, not an imitational smile, not something just to look good on the outside, but to be able to put a smile because I'm taking a dose of my own medicine. And let me leave this with you. The scripture says that a happy heart is like medicine. Now, I'm not sitting here standing before you that saying that you got to fake your happiness. But when you're genuine from the east side, when you know that regardless of what happens, that there's a better day of coming. Yeah. Connie taught me is, is that, that 
that even on her bad days when she smiled, she was taking a dose of her own medicine. Scientists say that when you smile, something automatically happened naturally on the inside. So take a dose of your own medicine. But the latter part of that text says is that if, if you, if it simply says, and we have to look at the other side, it says that but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Let us stop going around being mad all the time. Let us stop going around trying to worry about everything that only God can change. The scripture says is that a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Connie made a choice to not let her bones dry up. She decided that I'm going to smile in spite of. I'm going to smile regardless of how I feel because there's something that generates from the inside that be able to give me a natural painkiller that the medicine that she was prescribed just couldn't do. There's some things that only God can do. So I, I leave with you, we're in the pandemic and everybody trying to get their vaccine. The vaccine actually is a boost to help us to be able to fight COVID-19. I'm giving you a natural vaccine. Yeah. I'm offering you an opportunity to take a dose of your own medicine. You know, I thought about that. Some days my medicine don't taste too good. <laughs> you know, we laugh, but sometimes we take ourselves just a little too serious. When we're dead and gone, the world is gonna continue on. And only what we do for Christ is gonna last. I made up my mind from observing the life of Miss Connie that I'm gonna smile more and I'm gonna take a dose on my own medicine. Well, I'm not a good preacher unless I, I make an appeal. A boost is smiling and it gives you help to your immune system. But there's another help. And his name is Jesus. And it says that if you confess with your mind and believe in your heart, that Jesus will come into your heart. And I tell you, that's the ultimate boost. It says that if you accept Jesus as your personal Savior, he offers us eternal life. He offers us a place, a prepared place for prepared people. So I want to offer you a special vaccine. I want to offer you something that will help you day by day. Take a dose of your own medicine. But we all need a helper. And the helper is the Spirit of God. Let us pray together. Father God, is in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the life of Sister Connie. Thank you, Lord, for what she stood for. Thank you for her values, her standards. But God, I thank you for uh, the, the staff. God, for being a family when she didn't have a family. But God, to encourage her to continue to smile. And God, thank you for the lesson that she has left with us. God, I pray today that we learn how to take a dose of our own medicine and learn how to smile. It's in Jesus' name, amen. So for a minute, for a minute, everybody got social distancing. I want you to put your mask down for a second. Take your mask down. I want us to smile for Connie. Big smile. <laughs> Thank you very much. right on time. Amen. In the midst of all that we go through and the pressures of life that we feel and the word said us today to smile. That we will we'll feel better. And I'd like to thank you, Reverend Rivers, for, for reminding us what God said, that, that laughter is, is good for the heart, good for the soul. And let me say to, to this um, Special Needs Disability Board and all of you that work there, let me say thank you. Thank you for showing love because that's what I see. I, I, I feel the love and, and, and the desire to help those that you serve. 
And I, I see that it's not just a job, but it's, it's something very special to each one of you. So continue to, to do what you do. And I know God will continue to bless each and every one of you. Thank you just again. At this time, we'll have our committal part of the service. We're going to remember to return now. And we'll be there. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God in the wise providence to take out of this world us, the soul of our deceased sister, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day in the life of the world to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose second coming is glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth, and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body, according to the mighty workings whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right from henceforth, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so said the Spirit, for they rest from their labor. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Let us all say the Lord's Prayer in unison. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. So we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let us receive the benediction. Lord, bless us and keep us. May your face shine upon us. God, may you encourage us to smile more and take a dose of our own medicine. God, it's natural. You've given it to us, God. So God, may we use it to our benefit. In Jesus' name, amen.